Hey everybody, thanks for jumping into this week's blog, whether you're checking it out uh, through the email that you got, whether you found us online, uh, or uh, better yet, at Lifebringers uh, at Canyon Ridge Facebook group. Uh, if you haven't jumped in, I encourage you to jump in. Uh, a lot of the conversation and encouragement that's happening there uh, among Lifebringers, just people who care deeply about what God is doing in Las Vegas through the people of Canyon Ridge. Uh, it's a great place to be, so jump in with us and, and be part of the conversation. Today we're talking a little bit about another one of these frames from our recent Lifebringers gathering uh, where Jesus said, you've heard it said, but I tell you. One of those frames that we uh, put together was this, you know, you've heard it said that you learn by teaching. And like all of Jesus's frames, there was no condemnation for the first half. Teaching has been so helpful in lots of different ways. I learned from different authors. I've got a book each morning I'm reading from some of the classic authors and super helpful stuff. But it's not the only way to learn. Uh, it's kind of our go-to a lot of times, but there are a lot of other ways to learn. And so when we gathered recently, we just asked people, how are you learning these days? What kind of ways has God opened uh, to learn differently? Uh, and so here's just a few that we heard. One of the ways that we've heard is discovery. I think about the way kids learn. So much of it is exploration. They try things, they turn things upside down, flip them over, throw them, all kinds of things to figure out what things do, what they can do, what the, what's fun to do with those things. Discovery, when we find things for ourselves, the ways uh, that it locks into our brain, the way we experience it and lock onto it is just totally different. Even from my days in the math classroom, yeah, standing at the board and, and lecturing is one way to teach. Uh, but another way was getting manipulatives and other things in kids' hands that they could experiment with uh, and explore a little bit and find. And when they would find things, let me, listen, they would hang on to those things way more. So we've been doing that a lot through a tool called Discovery Bible Study and some really simple, powerful questions. If you haven't tried it, I encourage you to, canyonridge.org slash DBS. It's only one way to experience discovery, but it's a pretty good way. Another really great way to learn, uh, let's see, how did they, this one couple at uh, the gathering, they said, sink or swim. That's what uh, COVID-19 felt like to them. Uh, it, the way I would talk about it is experience. Experience is such a great teacher. Obviously some wisdom and some help and guidance along the way is helpful, but some things we only learn by experience. Uh, like in uh, January and February, not too many of us were watching Zoom tutorials and video conferencing was not a priority for many of us. But it wasn't too long into March, maybe even early April, when everyone was logged in, signed up, had an account, and were trying to figure it out. Over and over, getting coaching from others, like, where's the mute button, and the, why can't I see? All these things, experience. And so now along the way, we've found some really great things. The same is true for the teachings of Jesus. The more that we wanna live out our faith, the more we actually wanna know and experience him, we just have to put into practice the things that he's calling us to do, trying things that pull us out of our comfort zone. So there's two, discovery and experience, uh, but both of those actually get better with this third one, which is to reflect, to take time after any sort of experience or discover or study is done, or after a time of figuring out, okay, we've written our I will statements, we've taken action, but to sit and create some space to reflect and ask some really strong questions about what happened. You know, Jesus said you'd know a tree by its fruit. The same is true of learning styles. The more that we learn, uh, or the more we look back at what happened because of the way that we learned. What difference did it make? What kind of fruit did it bear? What good things did it produce in us and others? Who knows Jesus now better because of what we learned along the way? Who have we shared it with? These kind of powerful questions of reflecting will really reveal uh, the meaning and the fruit of what, um, of, of what we've been learning. So listen, those aren't the only ones, right? There's tons more. In fact, even as we sat at Lifebringer gatherings, it was like, oh yeah, and that, and that, and that. We would love for everyone to jump into the conversation. Uh, you can do it in the comments on the vlog, uh, or better yet, at uh, Lifebringers at Canyon Ridge uh, Facebook group. We'd love to, for you to join the conversation. So think about it. Discovery, experience, reflecting. Tell us a story about one of those, or better yet, how has God been showing you new and fresh ways to learn and experience more and more about him? Can't wait to hear your stories and we'll see you soon.